Hey, 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 this is Shelly Shell with another episode of Evolve Women's MMA. I had a chance to sit down with Junico fighter Sarah Switch Kick Click. She'll be fighting for a uh, CES coming January 27th against Maria Rivera. And I discovered she was not only a badass inside the cage, but a badass outside the cage. We talked about repelling from helicopters, home invasion, and donuts. And don't forget to like us at facebook.com slash I love WMMA. Without further ado, here is Sarah, the switch, kick, click, chick. I uh, met Sarah at uh, City Tong up in um, Somerville, and it was uh, probably about like two years ago. Yeah, three about years ago. two to three years ago. And she was just coming up. She was still an AMI fighter, and um, you know, I, I, I was watching her, and you know, like I was like, "Damn, that girl's freaking badass. She's she's got some moves for a beginner. <laughs> All right, she's got some moves." And I didn't know her background or anything, but she, she looked pretty good. So then there was another time I went in to the gym, and she was there, and, and we were doing pads and stuff, the class was, and then, and then uh, it came time to do some sparring. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, shit, I'm going to have to go up against her. Yeah. And I'm like, holy crap. And, you know, like, I'm like, okay, I'm the old lady. <laughs> And here's the young little chick. And and we're going at it. And she's going, like, coming at me. And she's throwing some great combinations and everything. Mm -hmm. And then she comes in with a (laughs) fucking flying knee. Wow. All right? How dare dare you? And, 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 yeah, exactly. How dare? And and I kind of, I, I kind of, you know, got out of the way like I'm supposed to. And didn't get kneed, didn't get punched, but what hits me on the noggin is her head. <laughs> right? She had no oh, idea. She, she, she goes the knee to win for a headbutt. She goes up, and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> my head, my eye, like whatever. So I'm like trying to like, okay, I'm playing like, you know, okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. And I'm like smiling. I'm like, okay, you guys, I gotta get out of here. I gotta check out. Meanwhile, my head is like, what the hell? Headache. And I leave. And then I come in a couple days later yeah. and I'm like, big shiner. Yeah. She's like going around, I'm like, yep, it's you, honey. <laughs> That's how we met. Still in my street mode. Street yeah. Yeah. mode. I don't even think that affected you at all. Did you have like a bruise or No, anything? I just Nothing. have a hard head. Yeah. And nothing hurts this. Yeah, so beware. She's got a hard head. She's masked right yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, so uh, here we are. We have Sarah Click, and uh, she's going in to have her third... Um, it's your third professional fight. Yep. And you're fighting at CES the end of the month. Yep. January 27th. Yeah. That's my setup. Yeah. Yeah. January 27th. So, so um, you're kind of one in one. And um, how are you feeling about this fight so far? You ready? I feel pretty good. She said she wants to stand up with me, which I'm like, yes. It's always like, I have no problem being on the ground or anything like that, but I think it's just more exciting. I have more fun when we uh, just get to stand up and exchange punches, try to bloody each other up a little bit. Yeah. 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 I saw her um, her last fight, which with, was with Rachel Reinheimer, yep. and it was, a, I think, an Emmy fight. Yep. So this is her first pro fight, and um, uh, it's Maria Rivera, right? Mar- Maria Whatever Rivera. Whatever her name is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's, yeah. Sometimes so it's her it's first. Maria Ramos. And like, oh, is it? I, I didn't even I know. I don't know. Like, okay, nobody knows. All right. So, well, on the card, it's Maria Rivera, and uh, she uh, looks like a Taekwondo. Is that? I don't know if that's I her. She's a Taekwondo black belt. Mm. Okay. Because she looks like she's going to throw some kicks, too. Because I know she oh, threw, yeah. like, uh, in her last fight, I don't know if you noticed in the reel or whatever, but she threw a head kick to Rachel. Yeah. And I'm like, Rachel's tall. Yeah. And I'm thinking, this could be a really good back and forth with the switch kick chick. Yeah. I think it could be. Like, I'm excited. She's a stand-up cool. fighter. And, I mean, I'm just assuming that she's every much as good as I am, if not better. So that's just how I'm training right now. Okay, good. So how do you, like, view, like, maybe your last two fights? I mean, one, um, you you were in it, and um, it was, um, 
you lost by decision. That was your first one at um, Invicta. Yep. And and then you came back and you fought at uh, Cage Titans and you had a win. Yep. And looking back at those two fights, you know, as you're moving forward in your pro career and stuff and wanting to finish fights, how do you how are you feeling about like these these coming up? Like you know, getting in there. Are you a slow starter? Do you think? Or are you like kind of fast starter? Because in the past, when I was watching your Amy fights, you you. I mean, you were freaking a night. I just, and I know yeah. how you were with me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, and not to give anything away, like on your style or whatever, <laughs> but just maybe a little, just a teeny bit of an inkling of kind of. I, I think when I was an amateur fighter, I just wanted to get in there and like kill people because I had just like, I started fighting uh, right after I got back from Afghanistan. Uh-huh. So I was still like, in like killer mode like I'm just gonna murder everyone that I fight Uh and um so like didn't really use technique or anything but now I think about more my technique um Mm -hmm. all that I still have my aggression Mm -hmm. and everything in there but my coach was like well remember it's you're also an entertainer so get out there and be entertaining and still like beat her ass, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <At the same laughs> time. So, and, and most importantly, don't forget to beat her ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's the most important part. <laughs> like, exactly. kick the shit out of her, but still be entertaining. Like, don't knock them out too fast. Right? <laughs> but like, they, like the girl that uh, I just fought, uh, Ronnie Nanny. She yeah. was really tough. Like her, she had like a brick for a chin. Yeah. Like, no, like no matter what I hit her with, like. Some of her pictures when we were fighting, yeah. she, it looked like the exorcism. She's like, she was just like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So she wouldn't. She's she wouldn't like a go cockroach. out. She was like, she wouldn't die. Yeah. Like, but she was like the nicest person ever. She's she's pretty strong and everything. The first girl that I fought at um, Invicted, that camp was weird because I was I didn't really have a gym. Yeah. Because I was kind of in between gyms and everything, like. Did you um, have anybody in your corner that fight? I had Kalini and okay. uh, Chip. Yeah, okay. But yeah. um but it wasn't your typical coach. No, it wasn't like Loco. Those those, yeah. those were your like, you know, your teammates. Yeah, Loco yeah. couldn't go. Um yeah. but I had Kalini and Chip and I it just I just felt like weird during that during that fight. Um I had like Amanda Amanda Nunez yeah. and um Nina and uh Val, uh Amanda's sister stayed mm-hmm. with us the whole week. And so like that was cool and everything yeah. to be able to, but yeah. like Amanda was super loud. Like I could hear her over Kalini and Chip. And, like she was way in the corner. <laughs> really? Because like, she's so Sarah. Because like, that's so funny because she came to the gym one time and she's so quiet. She was. Like, I was. So I was quiet. super starstruck when I met her. Yeah. Because she like, she was always my favorite 135 girl. Yeah. Like when she first got in the UFC, I started watching her, and then when she came to sit your tongue, I was like. Yeah, in the right. corner like that. <laughs> Kalini was like, "Stop being weird." <laughs> she was like, Just go say hi to her. I was like, "I can't." <laughs> and so like Amanda came up. She's like, "Hi, how are you?" I was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> I can't believe I'm yeah. in her presence." Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's literally how I was. I was like a little groupie. I, I'm awesome. still a groupie. Like yeah. whenever she likes my pictures on Instagram, I like. I'm like, guys, look at <laughs> Amanda just like my stuff. That's so awesome. Yeah, um, she's really sweet though. Yeah. She's like, she's really, really cool. Yeah. So, um, knowing you know, like uh, y- you're kind of gearing, putting yourself in a bit of a pedigree now. Like you know, I know Kaylini's kind of going for, um, you know, she wants to get a title shot, and that's what her kind of last fight was. She's kind of gearing towards oh, that, yeah. and she's got it set in her mind. And Amanda lost. And then she came back. Like, it was a time where she was like, yeah, I know what I'm going for. She had a loss. And I can't remember which fight it was, but she did. And then she came back, and she was just like a storm to be reckoned with. And then she yeah. got where she is. Yeah. So you, in your division, I mean, you're kind of, you know, like, you're in there, but you're not in there yet. Yeah. And you have these people with these mindsets around you. How is that affecting you? Um, I, I know that I train with, like, some of the like, best people especially on the, the East Coast of, like, the U.S. Mm-hmm. So I know eventually, like, step by step, I'm going to make it to where I want to be uh-huh. and just keep pushing how yeah. we are. So there's no pressure. It's just, like, a natural thing. Like, I'm signed with Invicta. I'm going to go back and nice. fight, fight some more. So it's not a big thing. Like, this is my lifestyle, everything. Like, um, we have Herika Tabusio. So mm-hmm. she beat um, 
the karate hottie, Michelle Watterson, for the Invicta 105 oh, title. Oh, nice. I didn't but, know she was here. Yeah, she's one, she's one of our training partners. Awesome. Um, she's, she beats the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> like, she's awesome. Yeah. Like, <laughs> she's small, but she's, she's strong as hell. Cool. And then, um, we have another girl that uh, she trained. Well, she was with uh, Ronda Rousey. Uh-huh. She was one of Ronda Rousey's training partners for the judo uh, team on the okay. Olympics. So she she trains here sometimes. Nice. Like Kalini. We have UFC champions, you know, like Rob, Tony. Mm-hmm. We have awesome. like the best coaches. So I'm not, I'm not worried. That's great. Yeah. That's great. So how does that set up for your mindset? Does it help, you know, like having that female support to like that, oh, yeah. uh, to have you know, that positiveness and that positive kind of killer, like, focus yeah, mindset I think it's, that they it's, have. Yeah, it's good to have, like, examples, like, ahead of you because if you come from, like, a no-name school with nobody, it's kind of harder to imagine, like, if you don't know anybody mm-hmm. who's been there, it's kind of hard to, to be like, well, can I make it? But, like, with Kalini and Herica and all of them, like, they've been there, and they're like, well, you can hang with us. Like, you're really good, so... There's no reason why you sh- shouldn't be at that level. And it could be kind of inspiring thing. to see somebody and go, yeah. I want to be like that person. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, yeah, Kalini's been, like, my big sister for a while, so. I know. I know. She's been right, uh, you've been right under her wing. Every oh, time yeah. I see you guys, you're usually, you're close by or she's close by, usually. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I try to aspire to be like her. Uh, she always tells me, she's like, I want you to go farther than me. Like, I want you to be better than I am, so. Mm-hmm. I try to work like that's why I tell Kylie too. Mm-hmm. I'm like I, I need you to like work hard, <laughs> like you know. So we keep like pushing each other forwards. You know. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like you got a lot of group, like a good group of women here. Oh yeah. Uh, training now. That's awesome. We're at Junico here in Hanover, Mass, and uh, it's a beautiful plush. This is a girly gym. <laughs> this, is, this ain't. This, I mean, this is like a place girls want to come to. Yeah. Well, it's I like mean, futuristic. It's, it's, it's yeah. yes, it's bleed and white. And white. Yeah. It's very, white. very so modern. So when we do bleed, exactly. um, the blood shows up a lot better. That's why it's white to show yeah. the blood. <laughs> yes. Yes. So if that happens tonight, we'll get a few shots. So of you know that. when someone draws blood. <laughs> Yeah, speaking of that, now you're in the you're in the military. You're on kind of like a leave right now. You're in the army, or yep, I'm in, you're in the army. army. And um, you were saying you had some aggression when you came back from this Afghanistan. How long ago was that? Um, was I like went a couple of years ago. Yeah, a couple of years ago. I think I got back 2013. Yeah. yeah, and then I thought you went in again recently, or no? Well, I've um, that was the last time I was on long-term active duty mm-hmm. but i'm on short periods yeah that you do yeah. now it's like weird like three months on like a month yeah. off three months on because i saw some cool stuff that you were doing you did like some sort of thing where they were client were you uh, climbing up or no you you were descending from a a cliff or something oh what the um, heck was that yeah well i'm a rappel master so and you couldn't do these? <laughs> oh, no, these are horrifying. <laughs> I'm so afraid of aerial. have these swings in here that are like... I'm afraid of aerial yoga. But aerial. I'm afraid of yoga, period. Yeah. But um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm a rappel master, so I can um, send people out of helicopters. On yeah, the, that's what I thought I saw. Her. I was like, holy crap. Yeah. And she's like, just, they're just like dumping her down, like let her zoom down this. Yeah, this. I can go, go down the, it's called the Yeah, Aussie, forward, the yes. Aussie, the where you jump off uh, face first. Um, sometimes I'm training to be a fries master, which is the fast, fast roping. When so do you have you, time? Oh my God. Have you ever seen like Black Hawk Down? Yeah. When uh, they were jumping into the city on the yeah. ropes. So that's what they're training me for a... Uh, to be a fries master, so we go out with the state police uh, every few months and uh, send them out on the helicopter. So, so. what are they going to need you for that to do? Like, what? I have no clue about this. Like, what would you go to do to, to help people or um, what, what? I guess if they needed that overseas, if we got, <laughs> got like deployed it's again, it's definitely a specialized <laughs> skill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're just going to dump you out of a helicopter and yeah, you need to get in somewhere fast. Oh, there's, there's a little more to it than that, you know. <laughs> Some things that go along. Yeah, I know, but that's that's basically what I see. Right. That's basically yeah. what the you know the average person sees. I know there's more going on, but I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe she's doing that. Yeah, you're not tied into anything. You just slide off a rope. Wow. But 
Yeah. No, but that looks scary because you're face first. You know, like, and you're looking like, oh, there it goes. <laughs> Here comes the earth, <laughs> the pavement. I don't know. It doesn't look fun. It, it hurts know. if you do it wrong, if you miss. Yeah. 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 So there's a lot of trust <laughs> involved, too, with, um, you know, your gear and what have you to make sure it's all secure. Yeah. And then the people that, you know, are flying things or letting you down or whatever. Yeah. Well, there's we let ourselves down since we're the rappel masters, so we have to tie up our own knots and like that's the thing if you if you rig it you ride it so yeah. if you tie the uh tie the knots and everything you hook it up uh you and the other rappel master double check each other's stuff that makes but, sense for accountability yeah, yeah. but yeah. then you have to ride down your own rope just in case you fucked up that's and you're on the you. one getting fucked, fucked up, up. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> you let you down you let yeah. anybody else down yeah. Yeah. Oh, exactly man <laughs> that just is like whoa 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 so do you, do you have your sights set on Joanna? Like, I would, uh, I would that, love to meet her, yeah. train with her, fight her, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't know if I, I could be mistaken, but is she training an American Top Team too? Or like I think she with, just started training there. So, you know, Amanda could give you tips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't get there. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. oh, man. Wow. Okay. So um, you have a trip planned. To, yep. in, to to Thailand yep. to do some training there. And when when is this? Oh, uh, we're looking at the fall. Fall also, time. Yeah, in September. Yeah. This year. Around there. I know um i 'cause I'm I'm gonna take my nephew to Puerto Rico for his graduation yeah. present in July. And then we're going to Punta Cana in October for my friend's wedding. Uh-huh. So we're trying to get to, <laughs> to How Thailand long do you, how the, long do you wanna spend in Thailand? About a month. Yeah, you should definitely. Yeah. I mean, it takes yeah. a little. Crew Toy already hit me up. Um, Good. From Sigatong. Yeah. In Thailand, so he's like, "Well, we'll pick you up. You know, you got a place to stay and everything." It's awesome. Like, yes. How do you yeah. not stay for a month if that's how it is? Oh yeah. yeah. Right. It's super cheap. Yeah. Especially if I'm staying at the gym. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, yeah. There. It's like thirty-seven baht to a U.S. dollar. It's yeah. real good. Yeah, I was looking at this five-star hotel. It's like a hundred American dollars a night. It was like. On the Decked beach, out. everything it was. I was like, "What?" Man, oh my god, it was awesome. I said, Thailand, just for your brain, is so good too. You really get into like you can you can focus. There's like, yeah, like not distractions mode. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, um, uh, very f- soft and uh, feminine culture. Yeah. Then here, it's not that you don't have that mask kind of vibration I guess that, that's better the way to describe it because it's not a, they're not feminine you yeah know, like but it's it's just a more feminine uh, country yeah there's, over there's less the douchebags there is yeah, that what you're saying nicer yeah yeah it's easier more relaxed and he's looking for you for uh, class no, just goofy. Yeah. and and uh, it's it's such a beautiful country and I mean I know you're going to be training there and you're going to love it yeah um, training. Have you ever trained with Crew Toy? No. Yeah, I, I haven't uh, seen him since he came over here. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna. He's he's awesome, and there's awesome trainers there, and he's just gonna show you different things that you're gonna be like, oh, like just a new spin on like however you learned it yeah. here. He's just gonna have like you know the original. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, like just where it came from. Yeah, where yeah. it came from exactly. Yeah. And That's then all it. the little tricky stuff. I'm I'm excited that uh, Loco's over there right now with Jeanette and yeah. uh, Nicole. So oh, they're there a, now. Oh yeah. Oh, that's who went. Too. Yep, okay. they're, they're there right now. So nice. He'll be here maybe like a week or two before my fight and get cool. some new techniques in. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So you going by yourself? Or are you gonna? Is anybody else going with you? Are you going with no, the team? No, I'll probably or go just, by myself. Yeah, yeah, and then just hang. That's cool. You're gonna love it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so fun! I missed it. I was there for a month. And uh, I I was in northern uh, Thailand, and I learned Thai massage while I was yep. there for in, in two weeks. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> but and then um, and then I went to uh, Bangkok, and then Krutoy was in at Evolve MMA um, in Singapore. So yeah. I went there and stayed with uh, the whole crew there for a period of time. They were so sweet to me, so nice, so helpful. A chance to teach a class there, and I, I had a ball. 
it was so such a such great people mm-hmm. yeah and um and uh how they take care of you and everything they're really oh, hospitable yeah, yeah really like crew toy called me out of nowhere he was like yeah, yeah Kumar told me that you're gonna yeah. come down he was like we got yeah. the hook up <laughs> you know, I mean, kind yeah of like, it's freaking awesome but it was yeah. like ha- like hearing somebody sounding like they want you to do well you know oh yeah you know oh yeah saying? they definitely do they take uh, you your your family that's how they treat you yeah you oh yeah know? yeah so we're definitely family here too like yeah so you'll have the chance to maybe train with i think if ploy's still there i didn't oh, actually yeah. get a chance know, to ploy, meet yeah. her I, I didn't get a chance to meet her myself i don't think i i, I think she must have been in thailand at the time uh her crew toy was in in uh, Singapore, but um, but she looks like she's seriously badass. Like she's just jacked. Yeah, she and was, like, like the best six pack I've ever seen. Yeah, everyone. like she does some serious training, and her her like her striking, her elbows, her knees, her kicks, and everything are gonna yeah. be like you're gonna have fun. Yeah, I was like I was talking to her. Well, as much as we could understand each other, I was like, don't, please don't, like, Kick fuck me ass. up. <laughs> <laughs> Keep this intact, Yeah, please. like, yeah. all of this intact, please. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, ah, oh, you're so funny. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, but I'm serious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> please don't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, right, I know. Do you think you, you could get, like, a, maybe a little tie fight while you're over there? If they That'd be awesome, range yeah. It? That'd be awesome. Yeah, cause just to say that I did that. <laughs> yeah, in Thailand, it's, it's. I mean, it's the kind of old school. You have people betting on you. Oh yeah, you know, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. they will like they'll be betting money and stuff. I mean, you'll you'll have a real experience. Yeah, if you get a chance to do that. Yeah, I'd probably bet against me. But <laughs> I, was I, was just gonna, I was just. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> like, it's nice to fight in time, but you know, I'll throw the fight to make some cash, you know? Come on. Yeah, right? <laughs> I know. I know. They, they, they do. It's so funny. Like, they're betting right there. Like, at the, at the... Yeah. Cool. Cool. So I am trying to think. I had some other things on here, and I'm like, what did I want to talk about? Oh, I, I've been, this has been bugging me actually for a while. Is um, you were online? I don't know if you were doing like uh, your Facebook Live or something, but you were saying there was an intruder at your home. What happened? Oh yeah, that? some like. And she was up all night, like up all night, like waiting for them to come. I don't know if you had a, you know, like freaking guns, like waiting at the door. You're gonna blow the person. Oh no, yeah, I'm like, like, waiting at the door. I know. I don't even I know. care. I will not even use a gun. I had my tomahawk and this big. Boy knife that we uh, used overseas. I always kept it in my body armor, like right here, just Don't in case. Don't mess with this <laughs> chick, man. But like, it was—it's a new house and everything, and like a nice neighborhood. But the, I guess apparently there's like heroin addicts <laughs> that live like, oh my God. <laughs> the, wow. like a little past the where, woods. Where? Where? This is just like down on Cape, but um. I don't think that's like surprising or anything since they had that's that whole that's <laughs> that's that's documentary. That's that's <laughs> but, like, it was a whole week straight. The person was trying to figure out how to get into the house, and I was just like sitting there with like the tomahawk and the knife. I was like, I, <laughs> I wish. Did anybody so take a picture? Give me one reason. Give me one yeah. reason. Somebody should have taken a picture of you like sitting like that for your next up and coming. <laughs> Hey, like, photo up. Yeah, yeah. a, a booty yeah. knife and a tomahawk. I, I, yeah. I called Loco. I was like, "Yeah, somebody's trying to break in." He was like, "You need me to come over there with like my gun or something?" I was like, "If you want to, like, I'm just like, letting just... you know." <laughs> I didn't say I need help. I'm just letting you know what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I Nothing happened. Crazy of friends. It. No. <laughs> Thank God. But I, I don't know if you, I saw. It. Maybe you told you were telling people about it at the gym. I was like. What the hell is going on? Yeah, and I mean, nothing. Nobody bothered you after that either. N- nothing. No, they they knew, they knew you were sitting. They looked in the window when they saw you. <laughs> like, I don't want like, what is chick. wrong with this chick? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, like after a year in uh, like the desert and stuff like that, like if you get like shot at and stuff, well, nothing really <laughs> phases you. Oh, Where did she man. get these this artillery of weapons? I know. <laughs> I know. All <laughs> kinds of weapons. So are you like a weapons expert? I love weapons. Like all kinds? Like just like, I mean, I, obviously guns uh, and 
just because of the military. Yeah, but she sure, seems but like, like she wants blades because you were talking blade. about guns. She's like, she's like, I don't need guns. <laughs> yeah, well, she's I got her fist. I want to see the look in his eyes when there. <laughs> yeah, she's got her like, fist. Like, she's, she's got her. She's like, like knives too, like different blades and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. I have like I'm really good with the battle songs, like the mm-hmm. the butterfly knives. I used to, my mom used to get those for me when I was like young. Mm-hmm. I'd like learn how to twirl them and do the different tricks. When you were young, did you bring them to school? No. <laughs> <laughs> did you think about it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I wanted to be like, I show, my show friends, off. Like, yeah. No. I was like, no. No, 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 no. Get fucked so up. Yeah. Stuff there. Yeah. She had a butterfly knife, you know? Yeah. Well, you <laughs> see, look at I love weapons so much. I have my M4s oh, right. right here. I have my 240 Bravo. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> awesome. Any, any new, new, new tats? Anything um, new? Just these, one, these ones right wow. here. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I forgot wow. to shave today, so. Like my bad. Very tie. Very tie. And that's a little yogish. I know you're not a yogi, but the lotus looks a little yogi. Yeah, I, I just thought that you, it would look great. Nice, but compliment it, will you? Yeah. I gotta get yeah. it finished after after the fight. It's a never-ending like process. A it's yeah. a never-ending process. I know. Wow. It's like a drug addiction. Right? But just one, another one, another one, another one, another one. Yeah. yeah. Long, and long. like you just spend a bunch of money and I mean I guess you get to keep them for life. But. They look great. You have nice ones. It's a nice sleeve. You yeah. Keep it's my favorite. What else is on here? Favorite sleeve. It's like the Warriors Ethos. Oh my gosh. The IR wow. flag and yeah. Lots of hours of sitting. Yeah. And, and, and a little bit of pain. This a little. <laughs> yeah, just a tad. A little bit. Just a tad. You see them? Look at these kids. Like, uh, so do you ever, like, um, I did a little talk with Peggy Morgan, and now she's uh, teaching ladies' classes and stuff like that. Do you get many little girls? Is she, this girl training, that little girl that just ran by? Yeah, she does jujitsu. Nice. Yeah. A bunch of, the kids are really cute. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Like, it's a different atmosphere, like down in Junico Hi- or Hyannis. Mm-hmm. Every mostly everybody there is Brazilian. Okay. Like all the little kids are like tough, like like street, not Where like street. Yeah. yeah, they're like, yeah. like they're gonna mess you kid. up. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but like all the they're little, gonna mess me uh, yeah. up. <laughs> the little kids are like that. Like I have my mini me down there, and she yeah. just never smiles when she trains. Oh, she's just shit. like. And like she's a Ronda like, Rousey. Yeah, she's like nine. Ready to go. Yeah, she's Ronda she's Ronda. a baby. She's yeah. just like how old is she? She's like nine. She's nine. Like, yeah, she's young, but she just she hungry. Like a little killer. Yeah. I'm like, God. <laughs> like she's intimidating to me. And so here is it kind of like a little bit different. They're a little sweeter up here. Like yeah, they're softer, sweeter. A little like kind of. Yeah, I mean, because it's like different <laughs> American, <laughs> like different kind of neighborhoods, yeah. you know, and environments. Yeah. So yeah, they're American. I think <laughs> you know we're soft. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Yeah, all the Brazilian kids are jacked. They're like... <laughs> really? Wow. <laughs> it's my nephew right there. The hairy one. So the one. whole family? Yeah. That's nice. So in this in this place here, too, they have, like... I mean, this isn't your typical, like, you know, MMA gym. You come in and you walk in, and the first thing that you see, you got this nice bar, and they're blending, like, you know, uh, yeah. smoothies up, huh? <laughs> yeah, so I you, thought it was a different and, business. I didn't yeah, know it was the same like thing. you could get a smoothie in here, and and well, it's actually really good for the fighters. But although you're on your weight cutting, yeah. so you can't eat right now. Yeah, like can you I'm have like a three smoothie? Weeks out. I mean, I guess like in the beginning of the day, it was like a vegetable smoothie, but yeah, yeah, it sucks. And now you're like, oh my god, I'm hungry. Yeah. And then they got that thing going over there, so you like I, tempted. And they, she like makes food every night. It just starts to permeate the gym during <sighs> team practice, and the entire team has a fight. Uh, January 28th and 27th, everybody's fighting. On the oh, same, word. at CES? The same card? Well, me and Sweet Bread are fighting CES, and then, but the next night at Cage Chains, pretty much oh, the entire oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. team is fighting, so we're all in weight cuts. Everybody's angry. Like, we're like, can you please like, stop cooking? It's not, like, nobody's going to eat that. No. The longer that time goes on, the better, the better it smells. Yeah, oh, and we're just like man. looking at her like, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> no, stop cooking right oh, now. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. She's the one who cooks. That, well. that's, okay. <laughs> just one <by. laughs> It's her. Oh, my. <laughs> but, yeah, I think they, like, originally they just wanted this to be a boutique. Kind of, you know? That, uh-huh. That's what they were going for. And then all of a sudden they started having team practice. 
And the people who are coming here were like, what the hell? Let's just make it an MMA gym. Yeah. It they looks like, great. They were like, what are those people? Everybody came in, like, their spandex. You know, the guys wear, like, yeah, the yeah, crazy yeah. spats and, like, yeah. ridiculously large cups for no reason. But <laughs> they're like, we, we, know, we know what the reason is. <laughs> no need. No. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can get out and watch Sarah uh, on, it's the 29th? 27th. 27th of January. She'll be fighting at CES down at Twin Rivers Casino. Uh, I wonder what, when in line are you, like, on the card? I have no idea. Yeah, we won't As long as I'm up. not first. Yeah. That's, like. That's the worst. Why, why, why don't you want to be first? That is the worst. I hate fighting first. I fought first twice. Once, I won, and I was just ready, went out there. But for Invicted, they had me fight first. I had no time to warm up and oh, no time to get my mind right because they were, like, yeah, rushing. Just cold. Yeah, they would just rush you around yeah. and everything, and then you would, like, kick the bag or, like, the mitts for maybe two minutes. And then, like, hurry up. Now get out yeah, there. And then, and then get like, out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm and then you have the lights in your eyes, and yeah. you're, like. Going. Yeah. yeah. I like to, like, sleep before my fights. Mm-hmm. Literally, I'll lay there and just close my eyes, mm-hmm. listen to music. Kind of clear. And, okay. Yeah, and then go up. That makes I sense. don't like fighting first. That I'll sounds, fight second. That sounds terrible. <laughs> hopefully, that's how it will go. Yeah. And hopefully, you have, like, an awesome fight yeah i'm just trying to kind of get out yeah knock her out and then go get donuts anything you want to let her know (laughs) anything you want to let her know like i'm coming for you yeah don't don't underestimate me i know you're a black belt but i've i've fought a lot of black belts before (laughs) i'm not underestimating you but at all like by any means but I, I really just want to knock you out fast and go get some donuts. That's like my motivation. <laughs> like, Krispy Kreme. I want some Krispy Kreme donuts. And That's, you're in the way of those donuts. <laughs> you're in the way of my donuts. That's a mistake. Don't I'm ever fuck with my donuts. I'm coming for donuts. <laughs> I'm fat. That's why I'm a big 115er. I walk around at like 142. <laughs> like, and you count out 30, she she told 30 she pounds of donuts. Yeah. I'm like, you're not fat. There's no, there's, you're just solid. <laughs> so you're walking solid around. Solid of donuts, donuts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's solid. You know, that's all. Oh, my God. So, yeah, check it out. It's coming up. It'll be a great fight. And uh, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. And thanks for chit-chat. <laughs> So thanks for listening. This podcast is for women, by women, about women. And please don't forget to share, like us, and comment. I'd love to hear what you think on uh, facebook.com backslash I love WMMA.